Welcome to We Sometimes RV with Scott and Joy. Thank you for watching our videos. Have a great day. Good morning. I noticed last time I took the boat out that I was getting a little seepage and the bilge pump was kicking on. So what I'm going to do today is attempt to, well not attempt, I'm going to do it, change, um, I don't know if you can see right here, this is a flow right plug, drain plug on my Ranger boat. And so we're going to, and I hope that didn't make too much noise, come down here and change the O-ring on there. The tools that I'm going to be using is a Phillips screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers. We're going to use some uh, waterproof grease. This is made by Danco, D-A-N-C-O. And then the correct size O-ring. I thought I could just pull that Put the light on there a little bit better. Oh, there we go. See, there's two Phillips screws right here, of course, on the top. So I'm going to have to get a stubby screwdriver. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I lowered the front of the boat as low as it would go. So it makes it a little easier to get to these screws. And the screwdriver tip is too big. I brought two different options. One, if I can get to it. I don't know, there are a lot of videos online that tell you how to install these things, but nothing that tells you how to change this O-ring. And I know that the O-ring, you can't pull it over the, the front of it, which would be the easiest way, because you'll stretch the new one too much. You need a good tight fit. Got the two screws out and the two halves come apart. And it only fits in there one way. Yeah. You can see the two halves. Apart. And the it fits in that little slot right there. Okay, so now we're going to change the old ring. And I do have 
small flat blade screwdriver. Take that old one off. Feels hard. Not. That's probably always a new one. get the new one in place there it is and you can see that the the curvature let's see if I can get a good view of that see the curve right around that bottom screw and this piece is also curved to fit around it As you can see, I actually removed it from the hole so it would be easier to, to see. And I should have done that to start off with. Okay, so we got those pieces lined up, and we'll put the screws back in. I thought for sure there was going to be some silicone behind this piece, but there's only a gasket that holds it in place. First screw back in. This would have made it a whole lot easier if I'd have started off this way. So, that's a bit of advice. is to remove it from the boat before you start. I gotta tighten that screw all the way till I get the other one in place. It looks like the hole's lined up. Reese on the O ring. Okay. And we'll Keep an 
and I'm able to reach up top and operate it. Okay, and it looks like it's sealing well. And a little bit of click. And hopefully that ends my leaking issue. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Press the notification bell so you get notified when we have new videos coming out. Hit the like button. And leave your comments below. Thanks and have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell so you get notified next time we have videos coming out. Leave your comments below and be sure to smash that like button. Thank you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.